The Reappearance of Sam Weber by Jonathan Scott Fuqua Teenage Sam remembers back to a year in junior high when everything changed. His father disappeared suddenly, and young Sam believes he was kidnapped. I mean, he wouldn't leave his son and wife voluntarily, would he? Like his father, Sam is a chronic worrier. He worries so much about so many things that he makes himself sick. But then again, he does have a lot to worry about. Without his father's salary, he and his mom have to move to a tiny apartment in a run-down Baltimore neighborhood, complete with muggers and thieves. His mother is given to periods of extreme depression. His new school is rough and tumble and comes complete with a nasty bully who is three times the size of Sam and wants to hurt him bad. And then his mom starts dating Howard. What if his dad escapes and comes back? What would he think? But Sam's life is not as bad as he thinks. His mom's boss, Junie, and her husband, Ditch, are looking out for them. Howard turns out to be a good guy. Not everything in his neighborhood is bad. And Sam is befriended by Greeley, the elderly school janitor. Greeley becomes a close friend and a father figure for Sam. But Greeley is African American, and Ditch is an unabashed racist. Sam wants all the people he cares about to be together for Christmas. But what if Ditch is cruel to Greeley? How can he reconcile Ditch's hateful side with the kindness he has shown Sam and his mother? Can he get Ditch to see past Greeley's skin to the kind soul inside? And can he get him to stop using the N-word? More importantly, can Sam stop seeing only the bad around him and learn to appreciate the positive things in his life? To find out, read The Reappearance of Sam Weber by Jonathan Scott Fuqua.